Somali Civil War USC slash S.S.A. 1995 to 2000. According to Interpeace, after UNOSUM's departure in March 1995, military clashes between local factions became shorter, generally less intense, and more localized. This was in part due to the large-scale UN military intervention that had helped to curb the intense fighting between the major factions, who then began to focus on consolidating gains that they had made. The local peace and reconciliation initiatives that had been undertaken in the south-central part of the country between 1993 and 1995 also generally had a positive impact. Adid subsequently declared himself president of Somalia on June 15, 1995. However, his declaration received no recognition as his rival Ali Mahdi Muhammad had already been elected interim president at a conference in Djibouti and recognized as such by the international community. Consequently, Idid's faction continued its quest for hegemony in the south. In September 1995, militia forces loyal to him attacked and occupied the city of Baidoa. Idid's forces remained in control of Baidoa from September 1995 to at least January 1996 while the local Rahanwan Resistance Army militia continued to engage his forces in the town's environs. Fighting continued in the later half of 1995 in southern Kismayo and the Juba Valley, as well as southwestern and central Somalia. However, despite these pockets of conflict, the ghetto and middle Shabel regions, in addition to both the northeastern and northwestern parts of the country remained relatively peaceful. A number of the regional and district administrations that had been locally established in the preceding few years continue to operate in these areas. In March 1996, Ali Mahdi was elected chairman of the United Somali Congress-Somali Salvation Alliance, USC-S.S.A, based in northern Mogadishu. In the southern part of city, Idid's forces battled those of Osman Otto for control of the port of Merka as well as strategic areas in Mogadishu. Fighting in Merka eventually ended after elders intervened, but continued in Mogadishu. In August 1996, Idid died from wounds incurred during combat in the Medina area. In 1998, a homegrown constitutional conference was held in the northeastern town of Garo over a period of three months. Attended by the area's political elite, traditional elders, isms, members of the business community, intellectuals and other civil society representatives, the autonomous Puntland state of Somalia was subsequently officially established so as to deliver services to the population, offer security, facilitate trade, and interact with both domestic and international partners. In 1999, Eritrea was alleged to be supporting Somali National Alliance forces led by the late Idid son Hussein Farah Idid. Idid Jr. denied the claims, saying that the Ethiopian Prime Minister Melis Senawi had requested that he mediate between Ethiopia and Eritrea in their separate conflict. However the International Institute for Strategic Studies separately reported that Hussein Adid himself had acknowledged support from both Eritrea and Uganda. Adid's forces occupied Baidoa in May 1999. However they were driven out by the Rahanwan Resistance Army in June 1999, backed by an Ethiopian force of up to 3,000 using tanks and artillery. The is said that the attack was part of a strategy to prevent Eritrea opening up a new front. By the end of the year, the Rahanwan Resistance Army had taken control of the southern Bay and Baikul provinces. The RRA's leader Hassan Mohamed Nua Shadagadut subsequently established the southwestern state of Somalia Regional Administration. In 2000, Ali Mahdi participated in another conference in Djibouti. He lost a re-election bid there to Bar's former interior minister Abdikasim Salad Hassan, 